the seven steps to install Comfy UI along with the manager plugin so we can get the animation started. So I made this video as simple as possible for you to follow up. Now, just keep in mind that you need uh, at least a, a decent graphic card. So in my case, I have a GPU RTX 2070, which has eight gigabyte of RAM. Uh, that's the bare minimum. So if you have anything lower, uh, your computer might struggle, but it's gonna be good for creating images, but you can give it a shot. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is download uh, Git and just paste the link. And what we wanna do is download for Windows. And after when you're done, open the file and install it. The next one would be to download and install Comfy UI, the main thing. So again, click on the link. And once you're in this page, you want to go at the bottom and there is the direct link to download. And that would download Comfy UI. In order for you to extract this file, you will need 7-zip. So click over here for the 7-zip file, download the 7-zip. Let's hit yes, install. This is the Comfy UI uh, folder. So what you want to do is you want to extract it. Extract files, we'll extract it over here for now. And then we're going to copy this folder and we're going to put it somewhere else. Okay, now that the file is extracted, we can just, we'll just copy this, well, drag it in the uh, desktop. I'll save it in the desktop. So it's really up to you where you want to save it. So in that, so this means every time I want to start Comfy UI, I'll have to go over here. Now let's go back to the page. So let's go down over here and let's go below NVIDIA. So we want to copy the script and by to do this, we can just uh, highlight it and now going back to our Comfy UI folder, inside this folder, once you're in Comfy UI, you want to, on the, at the top, at the directory, you want to type CMD, and that stands for Command Prompt. So this will open a Command Prompt. Now that you have this Command Prompt, we want to paste the link that we just copied, and this will install PyTorch, and press Enter. Now it's installing. So let it run for a bit. All right, now that the installation is done, now we're gonna go back in the Comfy UI page, and this time we're going to copy the dependencies. So copy this, and let's go back to Command Prompt, and paste it, and press Enter. Now we are almost done. All we need right now is to download the Stable Diffusion model and the Manager plugin. To do this, uh, click on the link to download the Stable Diffusion model. And the model that we want to download is the V15 Prune MA only Ceph Tensors. So once this model is downloaded, we're going to place it in the right location. And that would be inside uh, models right over here and checkpoints all right so here it is and we want to take this file and just drag it in the right location now we can just start comfy ui i mean we're almost done but right now it should be working so for you to start comfy ui you just need to go to uh, the folder comfy ui windows portable and below here you see run nvidia gpu so double click on this and let's give it some let's give it some time. Now here it is. You have Comfy UI installed. This is good enough to create images. And this is the default workspace. Uh, just by clicking Q render, you should be able to get an image. So let's uh, click this and see what we get out of it without making any changes. Cool, it works. We got a bottle, a universe in a bottle. And why did we get this? Because that's what's written in the prompt. Before we go to the next step, let's have a quick look how this works. This is the load checkpoint. This is where our, this is where our model is located. So this is the model that we downloaded. Now, speaking about models, we can have different kind of models that have different style that you can uh, download from 
Civit AI. There's a bunch of models over here. So going back to Comfy UI, this is the model that we're using right now. And this is where you write your prompt, your text, what do you want to see? And this is where you write the negative prompt, what you don't want to see. Underneath here is the size of the image. So 512 by 512, that's a good size. If you have something bigger, it might not work right. So in order for you to upscale it, you can use another uh, program to upscale your image. But now you can actually create images 1024 by 1024 with the uh, SDXL model. Okay, now that we know this works, what we need to do is install the manager plugin. And this will allow us to install other plugins. To get the manager plugin, it's basically, you gotta follow, uh, just copy this link. So this is where the manager plugin is, uh, Comfy UI Manager. And for us to install this is quite simple. Scroll down, all the way down to installation, and we're going to pick method two. So we already have Git, so we just need to download the, uh, the manager. By clicking here, once that file is downloaded, we want to put it in the right location, Comfy UI Windows Portable Directory. So uh, let's go there. Let's copy this. I have two downloaded by accident, so let's copy this over here. And now let's double click on it. And this will install the Comfy UI Manager. Now uh, let's run our NVIDIA GPU. Okay, so here we have the default workspace. So we're gonna bring a new workflow. So I'm just gonna take this workflow and just drag it here. And now you see there are a bunch of red boxes. Now the manager plugin will help us a lot. There's a lot of missing nodes over here. So we can open the manager and install the missing custom nodes. Click install and you should be fine. Now I'm not gonna install them since I don't have enough space. So I'm just gonna close this and I'm not gonna use this workspace. What I'm going to do is use this other workspace that uh, you can use it for the Spider-Man or Venom right over here. So I'm gonna drag this and put it here. So if you drag this workflow, you might get a lot of red boxes. In that case, you'll know what to do. You'll have to go to manager and install the missing custom nodes. Now, there's two things that we need to do for us to have a nice animation render. And that is to have the AnimDiff loader model that we're gonna download it and then place in the right location and also the VAE. So for the AnimDiff model, you wanna download the version two checkpoint. And for the uh, VAE, you want to download this version, the last one, safe tensors. Now we're gonna go in our download folder and here they are. Copy or cut this and place it in the right location. So for this one, so you wanna put in a Comfy UI custom nodes. So you wanna put in Comfy UI anim diff evolved and there's a section called model and this is where you wanna put it. So you see I already have it there. And the other thing that we need to do is take this VAE file copy it or cut it and we're going to go down here and look for the VAE file which is going to be in models VAE so comfy UI models VAE and as you see I already have it saved so that's great now we can go back to comfy UI and we are pretty much set so all you need to do, I mean, you don't need to restart Comfy UI since we placed the models in the right location. We can just click on refresh. And if that doesn't work, then restart Comfy UI. But usually that seems to work well when it comes to updating the models. So now let's look into this uh, workflow. So we're not going to go in depth. We're just going to use what we need for our animation. Let's look at the first thing over here. This is the input box the number of frames. So how many frames do you want to have for your animation? So we're going to lower this to 50 to make something quick. This is the size. So right now we have more like a portrait format. Maybe you want something like a landscape format. So let's try a landscape format. 
So 768 and 512. So this is the best uh, format ratio you want to get. Uh, anything bigger is not going to work well or different ratio, it might not work well. And again, if you need to upscale it, we can use the upscaling node and then later probably use another program like Topaz. You can have a bunch of models. So right now I only have two. I'm just going to use Dream Shaper. Like I said, you can download a lot of models from Civit AI. And the one that I use was Epic Realism. So you can download this model. So I'm going to try it with a different model, Dream Shaper. And the VAE is already placed, that is good. Now let's go over here. And uh, we don't need to play with this. This is fine as is. This will create the animation. So what we need to look down is the batch prompt schedule. So here it is, prompt is already made for you. So you can always make some changes in the, uh, the prompt. So this is the uh, prompt schedule. So in frame 50, you're gonna see rain, rain stop. Obviously it's not precise, but it works well. <clears throat> and down below is the uh, negative prompt. And all this is connected to this case sampler, which will create the video. And over here is the other case sampler, which will upscale the video once this render is done. First, you wanna see how your render comes out. And what you can do is uh, disable it now by, you know, by right-clicking and click bypass so it's not going to go through this or you can just leave it as as is and if you don't like the render we can always cancel the uh, the render and one more thing i wanted to go through is like if you double click over here this is a way for you to get other nodes last thing you want is a frame rate so 12 should be fine now we are pretty much ready to queue prompt and uh yeah let's uh, let's do it and if you click underneath view queue you see that it's running. You just have to make sure that you don't have a comma at the last phrase. Otherwise, it won't pass through. And finally, once the renders are complete, you can find them in Comfy UI folder, output, and they should be all here. Now, here's our Venom. And there are two files. One is a PNG file. That's basically the workspace. So it has the workspace information, which means if I just take this file and I drag it here, it's gonna give me the workspace that I created and I can just throw in render again and I'll get the same result. And next to it is the animation. So what, what you need to do is convert this to a MP4. We're gonna go on this site and choose that location and we're just going to take this and click upload. I'm going to provide the link of this site and here is our animation. So I want to convert this to MP4 and it's done. Now I can just download this. So the main work, the execution really comes down in the editing process. What you get from AI is not good enough as is. Like this is a full render. You're just gonna keep what you like and scrap what doesn't work. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. And same thing over here. Now let's go into editing and check this out. This kind of video works well for trailers or kind of like music videos. So you see there's like a speed ramp. So sometimes I would slow it down and then I would speed this up. So it feels a bit more natural. Obviously, the more time you spend on it, the better it will be. It's all about putting all the shots together, cutting them up, and keeping what works and scrapping what doesn't work. All right, that's about it. Have a good one.